channel and happy foundation Friday today we're trying out a brand new first launch of a primer foundation and powder for a brand that is a beautiful brand that I've used for a long time that I'm excited to see them coming out with complexion products so if you want to know more about that hit the subscribe button share this video with somebody you think might like it and let's do it so today we're talking all about the new launch from bite beauty this is their foundation their primer, and their powder. I really went for it on this one because I just couldn't wait to try it. Bite has been a really gorgeous, uh, cruelty-free uh, line. They also have a lot of cosmetic grade or food grade, actually, um, ingredients in their lipsticks. I have been to the Bite Lab in San Francisco and made my own <laughs> lipstick. It was so much fun. So I'm a huge supporter of this brand. But I went to Sephora. I, I didn't go to Sephora. I actually ordered this all online and really, really have been enjoying this. So let me tell you as we go through each product kind of a little bit about it. So we're going to be starting out with the Bite. I love their new packaging, by the way. Um, Bite Beauty Change Maker. It's Skin Optimizing Primer. And this is for drier skin types. I know that they have another one for oilier skin types. Um, it is a cream-like primer. Primer. It is $38, and it definitely is a beautiful kind of hydrating primer. It's very similar, in my opinion, in texture to the um, like the a Too Faced Hangover Primer. It's a little bit thicker, but it is beautiful, and I've really um, been enjoying wearing it. It definitely, it doesn't have like a tacky or sticky feeling, but you can definitely tell that there is a primer on and it sinks in really nicely and very quickly. Uh, it is obviously for normal to dry skin. It has, um, obviously it's there to help your makeup stay on longer. It have hyaluronic acid in it and it has olive oil in it, which I think is fun. It has some antioxidants in it as well. And this product is vegan, cruelty free and gluten free. Sorry, there's like a windstorm going on outside of my house right now in case you hear that. Um, looking at the ingredients, it is a dimethicone based primer. I'm a little bummed to see that uh, from such a clean brand, but uh, that's just the way it rolls. And I do not see any fragrance in this, but that's different with the foundation. But this seems to be um, fragrance free, a lot of hydrating properties, hyaluronic acid, like I said, etc. So let's go into the foundation. I am in color L40 and it is their, again, change maker, supercharged Meissler foundation. And what they say about this, and I actually think that the primer is a little hefty in price, but whatever. It is uh, one fluid ounce. And then this is also one fluid ounce, but it's $39.50, so it's not as expensive as others. Um, but this for me is a very weightless, almost tinted moisturizer type of foundation. I've worn a couple times. The reason why I say that is because they say it's medium, and I just don't know about that. Um, but they say long wearing foundation with gentle micellar technology that mimics skin texture for a natural flawless finish. I would agree this says for normal dry combination and oily. Uh, you'll see how that goes on in a second, and it has some of the same antioxidants in it, and it is also vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. Looking at the ingredients, they're very similar to the primer. It is a dimethicone-based. It does have a lot of kind of hydrating properties to it, um, and, you know, some other good things, but they're more towards the bottom of the ingredient list. But how I prefer to wear this is literally on my fingers, just like this, um, and I pop it on with my hands. Now, I have applied this with my hands, with a brush, and with a sponge, and it goes on beautifully with all of them. Really is very skin-like, for sure. 
Um, for me, it's a hydrating, but I would assume that if you wore it with the mattifying primer, it would obviously be a little bit more matte. Uh, they obviously talk about this being a complete system because they want you to use their primer and then they want you to use their powder. Um, I have worn this always with their powder, without their powder, without with their primer, without their primer, and it all works just fine. So you don't have to get the total complete system. But this is where I appreciate the foundation being built up to. You can definitely take a sponge, a dry sponge, so I'll, I guess I'll just show you real quick, and take a little bit of the foundation. It does build very nicely. It does have a very pretty, youthful, healthy glow to the skin. Um, and then you can take a dry sponge just like this and build up a little bit more coverage. I call this a light medium coverage. It, it, to me, it is not uh, medium coverage, but that's just me. Um, so there we go. So, and this is it up real close and personal before the powder goes on. It looks like skin. It's beautiful. Really, really easy. So that is the skin. It's beautiful, isn't it? I think it is. Now, it does have a scent to it, um, which I... It's not like a super aggressive scent, but it, it's definitely there, and it does linger for a little while. So if you are sensitive to scents and things of that nature, um, it's probably something that you might want to avoid. But this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous, and I am loving it. I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup, but I'm not going to apply any bronzer or blush yet because we need to experiment with the powder. All right, so I'll see you in a second. Okay, so everything is on, except for powder. Obviously, I powdered under my eyes. I will tell you that I wish I would have gotten just one little step lighter than this. Um, it, it, whatever, it's fine. It'll be fine for uh, summer, but FYI for trying to match against what I got. All right, so let's go in. Here's the powder. Comes with a little powder puff that I never use, and it, I'm in light two. Um, so this powder is $36, and it is a talc-free formula made with mined volcanic minerals to blur, mattify, and touch up on the go. That is what I would save this for, so you can touch up as you are out and about if you do this. Uh, obviously, this product is cruelty-free, vegan, and gluten-free again. And yeah, so let's try it, or let's show you. <laughs> so this is basically another layer of coverage. Um, I don't necessarily find that I need more coverage just because that's just, you know, I don't like to have super heavy coverage, but what I like about this is that it is a beautiful touch-up powder, it really is. It does give you some more coverage, which I think is nice if that's what you are looking for. It obviously sets the makeup. It does give a soft blurring effect to the skin, which I like, but there it is. So of course, if you want a little bit more glow to the skin, you're gonna use your regular powders. For me, this is totally fine, because what I'll do is I will, I'll just do it as we're talking, uh, I'm just using the same bronzer that I use on my eyes. Every time I do my eyes like this, you guys ask me what I use, and it is the Diffused Bronze Light by Hourglass. Um, but I will just use literally the same bronzer that I used on my eyes. And this will give it a little bit of a soft glow as well. And then at the very end, if this wasn't a foundation try-on video, I would normally hit this with either a rehydrating spray or obviously you can use a setting spray just to bring a little bit of that glow back. Um, that's what I would personally use. All right, so let's go into natural light on my phone so you can see everything in detail. All right, so here's the best natural light I can find. Um, as I always say, I have wind chimes outside, so if you hear that, I apologize. But here we are in natural light. I'll let you see really close. It looks stunning. I think the powder is really nice. I think it just is a really beautiful system. I'll just be very honest with you, as always, it is a gorgeous system. Now, just so you know, though, I've worn them all separately, like I said, and they all do great things. But 
but I really enjoy it as a full system. It just really gives the skin a beautiful finish. So it does say it's a longer wearing foundation. Uh, for me, it wasn't super long wearing, but uh, let's give it another go and we'll check in in a few hours. All right, so before I completely run out of daylight, this is the foundation and this is three hours of wear and actually it looks really pretty. It looks like the same that I have been wearing it since. So nothing's really changed. I mean, just a tiny bit off my nose, but I have allergies, I touch it there a lot, but everything's looking so far so good. We'll give it a few more hours of wear and we'll see what the deal is. Hi loves, as you can tell, it's much later than I expected. As always, uh, the day has gotten away from me, but that's good for the review because we are at a total of nine and a half hours and it looks pretty darn good. I mean, look at it. So overall, I'm impressed. This is the best wear that I've had um, using the whole system. I think it's fantastic, um, but I love it. I definitely will be wearing this again. I mean, look at the nose area. I mean, it's just, it's so good. So yay to that. I am super excited about this. Let me know if you guys have tried this, if you guys are looking forward to trying it, and um, I'm looking forward to trying it again. So I will see you all on the next one. Thank you all so much for being here, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.